Today we're, we're going to talk about our next turtle, which is the chicken turtle. The chicken turtle's scientific name is Dirochiles reticularis. And Dirochiles means long neck turtle. And reticularis refers to the chain like a reticulated pattern that you can see on the chicken turtle. Chicken turtles were recent discovery in Virginia. They weren't actually officially found until 1958. And researchers who studied them in the 70s found them to be in large abundance in some of the south, uh, western, part, eastern parts of the state. And the chicken turtles are more common in Florida to North Carolina, so Virginia ends up being the northern range for them. Chicken turtles tend to live in freshwater, swampy areas, the little creeks, and any, any ditches and, and, and cypress bog type areas in the eastern part of the state. They tend to be about four to uh, 10 inches in length, and they have a definite size difference. The males are, are usually around four to five inches, and the females six to 10 inches. Well, recent studies have shown that, they, that their populations were declining, and so there was more research being done on these guys. These guys eat a lot of uh, insects, and they will eat fish, and they use a unique method for that in their habitat, which is called a gooler suck. And what they do is the, they use the back of their throat where the gooler is located, sort of like you would find your trachea. And they will open their mouth and, hook and suck in that gooler. By pushing the gooler down, it sucks water into their mouth. And at the same time, they will launch their long neck out. So you get the action of the neck going out while the water's flushing in. And it makes it very easy for them to catch a fish or an insect that, that may be quite a distance from them as they, as they pull them in. Well, like I said, researchers were noticing a decline in the species, particularly in Virginia, and they started studying them and trying to figure out what was, what was leading to this. And they found that chicken turtles, unlike most other turtle species, they mature much faster. They will get to a breeding age in about five to six years, and they tend to only live to be around uh, 17 to 20 years. And in that period of time, they, will also, they, they also will go into the water and they leave the water for breeding and also to hibernate. They hibernate terrestrially, whereas a lot of other aquatic species will hibernate in the water. This has proven to be a, a problem for chicken turtles because they will cross roads and a lot of, there's a lot of road mortality on them. Also, just like a lot of other species, there's huge numbers of uh, predators hitting their eggs both raccoons and skunks find a lot of the nesting sites for chicken turtles. And so that's a big threat here right now in Virginia. If there's no increase to them, uh, the population will start to crash. So they're actually looking at, again, protecting nests for these guys. Uh, I've studied chicken turtles in the wild, and I have found in, in one of the sites that they do a unique behavior. If the creek or swamp that they live in starts to dry out, they will go to an upland area and dig what's called a form, which is basically a hiberneculum, where they'll bury most of their shell, their, their, their entire body, and just have the surface of their shell uh, exposed. And, and they will stay in that for as long as it takes until water levels change. There was one, one particular group that I was studying stayed in that hiberneculum for 22 months, never fed, fed never left it until we had heavy rains. It was during the two-year drought. And once they had that heavy rains, uh, they were able to come up and go into the streams. Now, they stayed with their shells that close to the surface, even during the winter, when, uh, when we had cold temperatures, they were able to, to regulate their body temperature enough during that period of time. And as far as I know, that's the longest anyone has uh, known that chicken turtles have stayed up and not fed for almost, almost two years. Like I said, as soon as we got rain, they went back into the water and I'm sure fed at that point. Uh, chicken turtles, like most other turtle species, they will breed in the, uh, in the springtime. They'll lay a clutch of anywhere from seven to 10 eggs. And again, they hatch out and mature very quickly. We're gonna to try to take a closer look at a chicken turtle. So let me grab one out of our tank here. And you can see on here the reticulated pattern where they kind of get their name from. They also have what we call them striped pants, because if you look at the back end, it's very striped. Both of our chicken turtles, which we have here, are males. They have the thicker tail on it. And if you, and you can see the, the head with that kind of turned up, up face there. 
that, that neck, which I don't think he's going to take out for us right now, but that neck's going to extend out about that far. So, so almost a, a, a two-thirds of the shell length, he can reach out his neck to catch a prey item on. And this is a male. Chicken turtles uh, have just the opposite in that the males tend to be about four inches in shell length, and the females are going to be six to ten inches, so they're going to be much larger than the males. And they have, have typically a yellow bottom on the shell, a little bit of uh, markings on the side, and again, the, the striped pants. Very, very interesting species with that long neck.